Oh, the saucer pass. It's ridiculous. Oh. That guy's nuts. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Oh yeah, that, yeah, that was nice. No way he meant to do that. I want you to talk me through some of the video that I'm gonna show you. Just hit play when you're ready. I think I know which one it is, too, so I can talk about it without playing it. It's one of those picture-perfect plays that I don't think that I'll get to experience again. I, I thought he was icing the puck. I had no clue if Hoffett snuck back there. You know, I just tried to take off and find some open ice. For some reason, I, he was the first guy I saw. Yeah. Even though I had a guy right next to me, I see now that I probably should give him the puck too. I was actually right at the blue line watching the puck go over my head. I didn't see Hoffman going across the blue line. I, I didn't know what Carlson was doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what about a 30-foot saucer pass I wasn't really expecting. And all of a sudden, Hoff was uh, sprung on a breakaway, and to add insult to injury, he did the craziest move ever. Breakaway by Kaufman, deeps and scores! Change of Peter Forsberg. You can finish it with a classic Forsberg, too. If you just make the whole thing even better. And uh, I think I was giggling all the time. <laughs> this is the second game against Boston. Takes it and shoots it down the ice. We lost the first one, and we were about to lose this game as well. At a time, I realized that if we didn't throw our own hands, we, we were going to let this series slip away from us. The whole play was doomed from the start. I kind of a screw up that everybody's pissed off about. Broussard had two, three steps on more and stopped skating and then forced me to try to make a, a play that I wasn't comfortable with. I think Brass knew what he did wrong before Carlson was even yelling at him. I know Carl was, was mad. Still don't know why, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, poor Brass, uh, you know, became the victim of that. <laughs> He's an emotional guy. Uh, those are the types of things that he does. Uh, I didn't really like that he did it in front of everyone. I can't say that, uh, you know, I executed in the best manner. We were all good after him. You can't be, you know, that sensitive. You kind of have to put your ego on the side. Obviously, I've said sorry to Brass a million times, and he says it's all good. Carl kind of sparked it there for us because it kind of turned things around. Later on, those two hooked up for the game tying goal. Good work by Carlson. Look at him skate. Passes. Score. That's probably my favorite uh, goal of the entire playoff. Yeah, I think we're down here by one. The poise here by Carl. I mean, not only does he beat him once, he beats him twice, he beats him three times. That's one of those things where everybody gets so puck focused on Eric because he's so good that it allows other guys to be open. And I was going towards the net, but I'm like, he's going to see me if I kind of stay back door. I never saw Brass back there, and I had a great view from the bench. Stood in the corner the entire time and just watched it happen. Passes! And then he jumped on me, and obviously my foot was broken, so I, I couldn't sustain myself, so I had to fall. That celebration's hanging in our room because it, it kind of defined our playoffs. It actually turned out to be pretty good that Brass was the guy, you know, finding the right spot at the right time. I thought it was, like, unreal. Especially after he yelled at me in the first period. Cosby's coming off the bench. There's a pass through. Cosby turns away from the check of wide with the Kunitz. He fires. He scores! I was on the bench for that one, vomiting in my mouth. I'm real glad, buddy. This is least to the best, eh? Good job. Get, get another one. Thanks, appreciate it, man. Go get him. Thanks, get him. He's a classy guy. I think uh, it's never easy to lose, especially in in that fashion, you know, double overtime. That's uh, that's a tough game, but um, that's just the type of guy he is. Right when we lost, I think that uh, I wasn't bitter at all. They accomplished something great, and, and you know, it's not up to me to feel sorry for myself and feel bitter for them. I mean, I have no problem sharing other people's joy, and you know, that was probably why it turned out the way it turned out.